MERG stands for Maritime Incident Response Groups. It's a team of specialist firefighters that are trained and equipped to respond to incidents at ships. Normally there is the Coast Guard who gets the call from a ship that has an emergency. And via the Coast Guard we are alerted. Incident command for supporting over. The information that we get from the Coast Guard will assess if we can then balance the risk that we're going to take and from there we can make a decision whether or not to proceed to that incident. For me as a commander the most important thing is the safety of my men. If we are in danger we can't help the ship. An ideal situation would be that we can make a risk analysis based on pictures on the ship itself and then only the information that the crew is giving us. And we are not sure that everything they are telling us is correct. The idea behind today is to test an unmanned aerial vehicle because that allows us to get early visual indicators of the extent of the incident, the condition of the ship. That allows us to then develop our plan all the while that we're getting teams ready, teams deployed. It puts us ahead of the game. Okay, incident commander here. Uh, there is assistance needed uh, for a fire in a uh, laundry room. The most important thing is that there is no firefighting efficient of all. The main focus of MERG is life-saving. Our job is to go on and stabilise the situation in order to make sure that passengers and crew can stay safely on the vessel. There are two ways we can go to the ship or by boat or by helicopter. The biggest risks for fighting a fire at sea are twofold. One is the complex nature of the ship in terms of its layout, its construction. And the other big problem obviously is the loss of the ship. So if the incident were to escalate and become uncontrollable, having to then abandon ship in life rafts or however it may be, that's a very dangerous environment. When you enter a ship, you get a map of the, the ship. It's something like a battle plan. You're looking where is the incident? Is it contained? Can it spread to, for example, in the machine room? How can we enter the room? What are the equipments we can use of the ship itself? We need to contain the situation so we can go to the harbour in a safe way. The big advantage of using a UAV is that we are able to rapidly get something on scene that can give us a visual picture of what is happening. Although the UAV capability has been developed, there is still some work to do prior to it being able to be deployed to an incident. Aviation regulations and legislation in, in countries often restricts the ability to be able to deploy a UAV. The hope is that in future these regulations will be amended so that the fire service can then use the UAV to improve safety at sea and ensure that all those responding to the incident are as safe as they possibly can be.